Food and drink ads could come under closer scrutiny next year if they're deemed to promote unhealthy eating habits among children. This is likely to cover products that are high in fat, sugar or salt. It's part of the ongoing government campaign to get people to stay healthy. Exercise more. This has been a key message of the national effort to promote healthy lifestyles. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, who launched this year's National Healthy Lifestyle Campaign, noted that more people are exercising while fewer are smoking. But he's concerned that with sedentary occupations and fast food, more people are becoming obese. While Singapore's obesity level is low compared with other developed countries, the Health Promotion Board is pressing on to get Singaporeans to take charge of their own health. They can do this with a new online checklist on their general health behavior and get advice on how they can fare better. And to strengthen health education in Singapore, a free one-stop digital channel will allow Singaporeans to watch a range of videos from topics such as exercise to healthy eating. Now this is the first digital channel in the Asia-Pacific region and will air over 1,500 programs in its first year. There's also Healthy Eating. A new healthy shopper program aims to help Singaporeans choose healthier food and ingredients when they shop for groceries. Children will get special attention. Next month, the Health Ministry and the HPB will conduct a public consultation online to find out what needs to go into the guidelines for food and beverage advertisements that target children, especially those below 12 years old. So it's important for us to see how we can work together to strengthen our guidelines. The guidelines itself will also specify what are the uh, food that they will be classified as uh, uh, undesirable. Basically, we'll look at the content of each food. Uh, so we are not targeting a specific brand, but looking at the food stuff and uh, studying the content. The HPB says early consultations with the media and the food industry have been positive.